Our Dynamite 2.0, which is a brand new turbo system that we have. Uh, it's a ceramic ball bearing version of our Dynamite Turbo. And if it wasn't for your video, that's the reason why I would do it. Because you saw the video. Because I saw the video. So we saw two Robbie bears. Pretty much. So, what have you been up to? Hanging out, jumping. It's a tough life, huh? Not good. Uh, not really. Just to act like it is. How'd you even know my size when you had it made? That's crazy. Um, we can't look at James right now because he hasn't brushed his hair. Don't put it on, on camera. Good to see you. What time will you be here? We're going to do it at 9.30. 9.45. Oh, how are you? Oh, how are you? Great. Hey, I see you guys on YouTube. I see you guys on YouTube, yeah? Awesome. All right, so we got Kenny Reed here. From Dandy Off Road. From Dandy Off Road, right. Dude, from Back to the Desert. YouTube, Instagram, all over the place. Who's been killing it? We know this guy. We've known him for a few years. Uh, you know, we're fellow Dooners, OGs, fellow OG uh, YouTubers. Actually, that's right. Yeah, right. I don't yeah. know about killing it, but I'm having fun. I'm just uh, doing my killing. best to have fun. Uh, did you set a world record? Uh, yeah, a few weeks ago. Okay. So uh, most people's definition of uh, setting a world record uh, would be killing it. I'm just gonna. I don't know. Yeah, you, you, I don't it's, care. It's hey, goal wait. setting. Don't, and, don't and, take this person. I don't care I know, how you feel about it. It's killing it. Yeah, right? yeah. Killing tires. Killing, <laughs> <laughs> killing belts. He's, he's being belts. overly modest. He's I'm killing it. He's a belt slayer. No, I mean, I just, I just, I knew what these things were capable of, and I just wanted to achieve that. It's, it's really, you know, setting a goal and just executing. Now it's time to take to a track, and then after that, the sand. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm going to let him just kind of, because this is his car. He built it. I'm going to show you the car and let him tell you, uh, you take me through the, you know, the yes, way you want to take yeah, me through. Yeah, so we'll walk through it. It's a 2020 Can MX3 DS model. It started its life as a rental car. So she's got <laughs> yeah. 7,000 miles on the chassis. 7,000 7, miles. Um, I purchased it without a motor. It had a tranny, a broken frame, and the tranny was even broken, which I welded back together here. Okay. This thing was on an absolute shoestring budget, um, and, but I wanted to prove what you could do with uh, being on a budget without having to be a big company and, and still be able to compete with those numbers and, and do some cool stuff, you know? Um, so I, I fixed the frame, I threw my four-seater motor in it originally, and uh, tuned it up, got Motec on it, uh, worked with Mario from Dubai on that, and uh, worked with Evo on getting like turbo parts and, and whatnot and took it to the Cinders event, uh, Duel at the Cinders and Flagstaff, and it was a shutout. I absolutely, I wasn't touched. We, we beat every car in the field, and it was a fun event, and then the cars evolved since then into what you see today, um, which it's over 500 wheel horsepower, 100%. Uh, if you use a fuel comp, it's way up there. Um, these new cams are absolutely killer. I've had to add about 15% more fueling uh, over the previous setup, so it's, it's how a many, mean how, setup. How many injectors? So it's got six 1300cc injectors. Six. At about 75% duty cycle with enough pump to suffice. So it's it's definitely putting out the fuel and the power at about 58 pounds of boost. So you're trying to get a spray, not a... Not a yeah, atomization is really important on that because if you have a single droplet, it's harder to chop yeah, that up and atomize that versus two yeah, separate yeah. droplets. So even if I you know transform the vehicle to methanol, it's still going to be on a six, even potentially nine injector setup. It's, it's a real, real key aspect to it. Okay. Um, you got to set it nice and low so it'll stay on the ground. When you yeah, but that's not ideal either. I don't want to share too much information, but you know, being low is not always a good thing. You know, it helps with downforce and whatnot. Uh, but suspension geometry was never designed to do this, especially for a drag setup. So it's not the ideal setup, to be honest. Which I will be coming out with a fix for that soon, um, okay. and sell that honestly as like a kit. Okay. That's right. Um, this is for strictly drag cars. Um. Drag. Yeah. So it'd be. Uh, you know, pavement or sand would be the suspension but, setup. But the suspension setup will be for drag. Only. Exactly, because you're not looking for suspension travel when you're drag racing. Because we, we don't want to forget, you're also an off-roader. Yep. Uh, as in uh, Dunes, Glamis. Glamis, my home, baby. Love so, it. Yeah. So this is this car is not for that, yep. obviously. But this it is, will be out there. All right. That, yeah. well, Halloween, yeah. Halloween weekend, baby. We're going up olds oh, with this. Really? How much travel does it have? Um, it's got about 12... 
the 14 inches, 12 and 14. Okay. Yeah, you still get up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a different suspension setup that has additional travel. So, so do do me a favor. Yeah. Give me the all the low down on the world record. So the previous record was set uh, by Waylon. respect for him for setting the bar uh, yeah absolutely Everybody last year did. last year i didn't think that was possible like to be in the ones so i was like man like what are these cars yeah, running right? mid twos they're moving yeah. um and then i saw him set the bar and kudos to him because i was like wow okay that's this car was just being built right so i didn't have a ton of time with it it was i saw what he did he set the bar and i was like okay so no offense to him but i gotta beat that that's the new sure, time yeah, right absolutely. So i'm sure, he, him, I'm sure he wouldn't take offense yeah so all respect to him, but I knew what these were capable of after seeing that. I'm like, okay, so let me start working on it. And so I, I started putting it to the ground, asphalt only, every day, all day. Um, the important thing is having an engine package that can handle that and be able to make the rounds so you can make improvements. Because if you're always braking, yeah, you you're not making progress, yeah. right? You change the tune, break a car, so fix the car. I learned a lot on the previous motor setup, what blows, what you know, what, what adjustments I need to make, what improvements. I did those and so now I have an engine package that's making power and can go the rounds. Now I gotta get it to, to hook, so suspension, and I gotta get to put it down with clutching. So I spent several weeks working on clutching, getting it dialed, what RPM to launch at, what, what works, what doesn't, tire, suspension setup, I mean, a lot went into it. I don't wanna give out too many details because it was Absolutely. my blood, sweat, and tears that went Absolutely, into it. Absolutely, yeah. But it's running a 1.1960 foot, which is insane. The previous record was like a 1.4, 1, 1. 1. 1.4. Okay. Now I'm at a 1.19, wow. 60 foot. So the short game was the key. Um, so there's a few people out there scrambling right now to take that down, I'm sure. It's hard. It's hard oh, because the weight it. transfer, the vehicle's so short and it wants to pick up the front tires. Absolutely, yeah. So, I mean, there's no secret in this. I run limit straps. Absolutely. I want to shorten the stroke of the shot. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that keeps it planted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We did the same thing just playing around with our little our stage five on our 17. You probably saw it. Picking the front end up. Yeah. I'm trying to it's keep it down. Un, when it, the unsprung load. When yeah, it yeah. springs, Once it, picks it starts it up. traveling up, it keeps Hard traveling. Hard to stop yeah. it. So, I want my tires to be the suspension. I have enough sidewall. It's a 32 inch slick. Yeah, no kidding. Right? So I want that to wrinkle. I want that to be my suspension and put the power to the ground. To, right. You know, and have your weak point be the, the belt. So the number for your record is? A 1.8106 mile an hour. Go to 60 mile an hour. And, uh, on sure the street, the, unprepped. No burnout, no prep, nothing. I'm sure there's a video up there somewhere I can grab and throw absolutely, in this. Absolutely, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'll send it to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Hey. It's weird. <laughs> awesome. A so, deja vu. so I can grab that video absolutely. and throw it in this one. And, absolutely, man. And what are you doing here? What are you doing at San Um I'm doing? representing my good friends from uh, YouTube Speed Inc. They've okay. been with me since the beginning, since my Razor days. They built my first cage and. I've had a good relationship with them ever since, and they build okay. any cage I want. So this is my custom cage that they sell. Okay. Um, but I had this made to my spec, and the specs were actually off of my four-seater, because my four-seater doesn't run a back bar either, because I run a bed delete. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think it changes the look of the vehicle. It makes it look shorter. It does. And yeah. more like a truck, which was really the look I was going after. And Geyser made me these also. Uh, these are mine to match the cage because typically they're three inches taller. Okay, okay. So I didn't want to chop it. I didn't want to disrespect them. So I had a custom-made geyser number plate, custom-made geyser cooler reservoir. So this is mine also for the bed delete. And I'm going to be coming out with these soon. These are mine. And what it does is it drops the front of the intercooler and raises the back. So you get more flow to the intercooler and you have full access to your spark plugs. Oh, I, I've, I even, like that. I've even done head torque without removing my intercooler or anything. You have oh. full access to that. Oh, wow. And the intercooler stays cooler and there's no plastic, so it's less heat soak for the engine. I mean, it's a lot of benefits just in that alone. But with that, you gotta come up with your own intake system too. So uh, okay. I'll be including this with the kit as well. Gotcha. Awesome. And where can people find information on that? Yeah, so I opened a shop in Tempe, Arizona. It's called Desert Raceworks. You can go to DesertRaceworks.com. 
Uh, <laughs> 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 to all the questions. That's pretty cool. It's me right now. Yeah. They're hiring employees soon. But for right now, it's just me. And, and uh, I'm always willing to answer questions uh, back to the desert on Instagram as well. All the technical questions. Facebook, Kenny Reed. I'm sure a lot of people know that already. I'm 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm usually there right. to help people. And uh, UTV Speed Inc., what are they, what are they doing? Uh, roll cages, they're making their own doors now, which are awesome. They're windshields, which are DOT okay. uh, approved glass. It's oh, wow. automotive glass. Oh, wow, wow. I mean, that's a, I ran this on my uh, previous, my Razor had a, a windshield as well, and it's yeah. like the real deal. It keeps the sand out of your mouth and out of, awesome. out of the no-no places. All right. Uh, but yeah, full DOM tubing. Uh, well, in house, they manufacture, I think, most of their stuff. They have full CNC capabilities now, so they're making hinges, they're making brackets. I mean, they're absolutely killing it. So, they're going to be one of the big names in the game in the next coming months because they are investing heavy in machines. Okay. All right. Awesome, awesome, man. Yeah. Good to I love what you guys do, man. You know that. Right you know, on. OGs, YouTube OGs. OGs, that's right. Andy Off Road, baby, get it. <laughs>